Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing? And you happy too. How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker, and it is Thanksgiving week, y'all. I am so excited about Thanksgiving because that just means we're that much closer to Christmas. And yeah, y'all, um, I'm like so ready to hang out with family. I get to see, you know, I always see my parents and stuff, but I don't always vlog it because my mom is real particular about what she looks like on camera like oh, like way more particular than my sisters are like Manishka she's gotten used to it or whatever but you know when I first started vlogging Manish would be like take me off the camera I don't know if y'all noticed that or remember how shy she was now she's used to it and I think Ed's kind of helped her to be more acclimated with it or whatever and then um, Natasha my other sister who should be here in, I think, mid-December. She finally got her tickets to come down here. She is one that is super, she's like my mama. She's real particular about being shown on camera. So if she's not feeling like she all the way to go, but she ain't gonna be on camera at all. So that's the one thing. I've been seeing my parents a lot lately because I've been dropping off food to them and stuff like that. But if my mom doesn't feel like she's up to snuff, my dad doesn't care. But my mom does, then we don't vlog. <laughs> it's just how it goes. You know, my mom, she don't play that shit. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a very, very nice weekend. You guys saw it. It was so relaxing, so nice. We got a lot done. And... Um, it was so awesome. Juice actually finished painting the entire room. It's not that he had to paint the walls. It was literally the trim. And um, he di I didn't think he would be able to finish all the trim, but he actually finished and did one coat on the entire room, all the trim in the room, in my beauty room. And then um, he has to do one more coat. So he'll probably do that over the weekend when we, you know, when he has a couple days off from work. So that'll be nice. And then I'll be able to kind of start shifting and moving some stuff around in there, which means I'm going to have to do a lot of little shopping trips for knickknacks and stuff for the the room because I finally want to get it done and I still have a table to get which you guys know I've told you guys a million times over so I'm hoping I can catch a sale um, for that um, Ikea specifically I don't know if Ikea even has sales over the holidays but I'm hoping I might be able to catch one you know what I mean like even Black Friday or Cyber Monday maybe um, and if that's the case then I will certainly get my table then and then everything else is gonna be just getting a little knickknacks and stuff I really want to start using my beauty room in December it's probably not gonna be finished by them because I really want to really add a lot to it to make it look lived in and homely but it's whatever we gonna see anyway so yeah Oh gosh, you know what? Let me take this out while I'm sitting here. Look, y'all know this is the week that we're supposed to be using all these, or using, cooking all these Blue Apron um, meals, right? And y'all, y'all all obviously saw that Juice wants to cook the drumsticks, which I didn't think he'd want to cook because I'm scared of cooking chicken. I ain't even glad y'all, so I'm happy. He's happy to do it. He just has to cook the motherfuckers like super cooked like you know what I mean so anyway he is going to cook one of the meals for sure and it's going to be the chicken recipe that you guys asked him to cook so he's stoked about that y'all like no not no lie no joke so because he was um um because he actually was doing the painting yesterday and he was really really tired on top of that we shot a video last night too like right when he got done painting he literally sat with me and shot a video with me of course he had no problem with doing it because he loves food type videos so um, he did it but I know he was tired so I'm not gonna make him do the meal today he'll probably do it either tomorrow's you know vlog or Wednesday's vlog just to give him a break because he really did get it in I mean he was in that office painting for hours you know what I mean and he wouldn't even let me to help him like he was like I need you to go somewhere I was like okay and I had a lot of work to do anyway so I just edited a lot of shit and got a lot of emails and stuff like that done plus some cleanup none of which happened in the kitchen but all of which happened everywhere else so anyway today I'm going to make the pork one Whatever that is. I don't remember what it is because the recipe's over there. But we are going to take out the food because I actually froze the meats and stuff. And so we are going to lay them out so that I can make them for dinner tonight. We do plan on going to the gym this evening. I've already had my Body by Vi shake, which you guys already know is um, I've been um, needing to, I need to get another one because Juice has been drinking it. But anyway, um, still have my other bag of my Body by Vi shake as well. You guys know it's always in the description box if you guys want to try this out especially if you guys are going to get ready to get amped to get all back into the swing of working out in early january after the holiday or whatever so 
Anyway, the link for where I get them for cheaper than where you would get them from a distributor is down below in the description box as well. And I'm over here editing and I'm over here drinking some coffee. And yeah, just getting the Monday started. I'm so happy today's a short week today. This week is a short week for Juice. Um, so we can just kind of hang out and hang out with fam and do all that stuff. Um, and then put up the tree, which is gonna go in this corner over chair, right? It's gonna go over there in the corner. And the one thing I do not have is decorations for the tree at all. So that is going to be one of the things that I'm probably going to have to pick up this week or I might just put the tree up. And then maybe over the weekend, Juice and I will just run out and get some, um, some ornaments and stuff and things that we could put on the tree. It's probably going to be a work in progress. Like every year, the tree will get better. You know what I mean? I'm sure I'm not going to go ham with ornaments this year. But if you guys have suggestions on where I could get some good ornaments, I want like the big, clunky, gorgeous, gaudy looking ornaments. You know what I mean? And I think I'm going to go for more red and gold because I think it's what would kind of go well with, with here. Yeah. And then, yeah. So anyway, that's the deal. That's what's going on right now. Um, I got some emails to get back to and stuff like that, so I'm gonna do that. And um, our Love With Food unboxing, by the time you guys see this video, should probably be up. So you guys need to make sure to check it out. So I'll put it in the description box down below so you have a chance to check it out. Hopefully it'll be up by then. If it's not, I will put an annotation and say it's not up, but if, it, if no annotation or something comes up and through here, then it means it's up on the other channel. So check that out, it is hilarious. Juice was enjoying himself on this one. So anyway, um, yeah, waiting for a guy to come and work on our system. We have a sprinkler system in, and there's a guy that is supposed to come out here and just double check everything because we are winterizing it. We already winterized it, but um, I've noticed there's like a little bit of leaking coming from it, so I just wanna make sure there's nothing causing the leak, that it might just be some additional water, and even so, it needs to be blown out if that's the case, because it's getting cold, and it's gonna be colder tonight. Another thing is that the um, Mike Brown um, verdict may be coming out, I mean literally, is gonna come out any day now. And you guys know I've talked about that forever, but the reason for that is because they're stalling. Like it's, there's a lot going on right now and they're trying to prepare National Guards here. They already have people, you know, there's, there's stores that have been boarded up. Schools are closed today and tomorrow and Wednesday, like this whole week because of this. So any day, it could be today, it could be tomorrow. We're thinking it's gonna be today or tomorrow. I am praying it's not on Black Friday, y'all. Okay, you, you feel me on that. You get where I'm going with that because if he gets off and they, they announce that shit on Black Friday, that, that ain't, mm -mm, no. Y'all know what I mean, the symbolism. Behind, okay, anyway, we won't get into all that. But anyway, let us pray for a positive outcome. Pray for St. Louis, seriously. There's a lot of violence here lately. Um, lots of violence. He might be here. Anyway, um, Lots of violence going on, lots. Um, we had like two deaths over the weekend that were within a fourth of a mile of each other. A whole bunch of stuff's going on, you guys, here in St. Louis, so please pray for everyone out here. It's crazy, real talk. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the day started, and I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do today. We gonna see how the day goes. All right, y'all. So your girl's in the grocery store. Why? Because grand jury came to a decision and uh, it hasn't been officially announced yet, but it's supposed to be announced sometime between now, which is a little after four, and I think seven or eight o'clock this evening. I am so super drained, super anxious. Like I have no idea like what the results are gonna be, but I just don't have the best feeling about it, and neither does pretty much anyone else. Um, there's just, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna turn out and how St. Louis is gonna react. That has me nervous too. Either way, I'm at the stove. And I'm grabbing a couple things that I need that I figured I might as well go ahead and get it now. And I'm getting a couple things for Thursday so I can bring some um, some drinks over to my second mama's house because she's having our Thanksgiving feast. So I figured I'd go ahead and just knock it out and get it over with now because like stores are closing early. Um, some businesses in all kinds of areas in St. Louis are boarding up. So I don't know what the temperament is going to be over the next couple of days here, hence why I'm like, let me get this over with and get it done so that I have the stuff that I need to bring over to my um, second mama's house. And, you know, I've got it all in my, uh, you know, pantry and ready to go. Um, and then I just came because I have some leftover chicken from a rot rot rotisserie, a couple of rotisseries that we still need to eat. And I kind of want to shred it and make it into some tortillas. So I'm going to freeze the chicken and then, um, uh, make it into tortillas after we get done with the Blue Apron meals. So we have some stuff to eat over the weekend or whatever too. I don't know how this is gonna go, y'all. I am so like, I don't know. Even the energy in here is different. Um, people are kind of 
rushing. It just, you could tell there's a little bit of, you know, uh, just, it's just different. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, ugh, juice is still at work. I'm all like anxious about him. I need him to come home. Like, I'm, you know, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know what people's reactions are going to be, nor do I know what the verdict is going to be. So I'm like, all like, I don't know what it's going to happen. You know. <sighs> anyway. So, we, of course, we'll turn the camera on so you guys can see what happens. You know, just how it comes out here in St. Louis. But for right now, the girl's getting this shit over with and done so we can take her butt home and be ready for the verdict. So, um, ugh. So anyway, I got some uh, some uh, tortilla stuff and some frozen meals for the week. Because um, when I don't feel like yeah. making a major meal, go ahead, go ahead, honey. Thank you. <laughs> um, when I don't feel like making a big meal for lunch, or not a big meal, but when I don't feel like cooking an entire meal or whatever, or having a body by by shake, I usually have frozen meals in between. So I got a few of those. And speaking of, I need to go ahead and oh, I should have gotten creamer. Shit. Damn it to hell. Let me go get the damn creamer. I was just in the area too, but um, let me go get the creamer so we have it for the weekend. But yeah, I'm just kind of getting the couple things I need and I'm out this motherfucker. So, let me go ahead and do that while I'm in here. But yeah, y'all, pray for us, y'all. I will let you guys know. I'll, let, I'll show you guys when we turn everything on and let you know what's going on. All right, y'all, so we are back at the Cribbo and Juice is home. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of just checking up on um, uh, pretty much everybody to make sure that they are at home. So I was just sending out some texts to everyone to kind of say, okay, where are you at? You know, let's check and see what's good with it. Why am I taking this? I need, I need paper towels. And um, yeah, dogs are good. They're over here. As per usual, having their, their, uh, their dinner. We'll let them out as soon as they get done. I just want to make sure they eat, have their water and all that good stuff. We just took them out a little bit ago. And we are here waiting for the, ver uh, not the verdict, the decision. The grand jury decision, which is now supposed to come out at eight. Remember I told you they weren't really sure if they were gonna have it come out tonight or whatever the case. And they hadn't really received confirmation as to when and what time and all that stuff. It's eight o'clock tonight, this evening, so yeah. Um, we're over here sitting on pins and needles to be completely right. I'm just trying to find things to do. Although I am editing as always. Um, and uh, sending some emails out and stuff like that. And my sister's out right now. I'm waiting on her to get back to me to let me know that she is back at home, safe and sound. And I gotta check with my parents and see how they're doing as well. But y'all, yeah, it's just a waiting game now. It's just a matter of waiting to see what they do. However, it is crazy. Like. Like I told you earlier, businesses have boarded up and all kinds of stuff. Plaza Frontenac, this is just to kind of give you an idea of what's kind of going on, just to kind of give you the temperament of the environment of, you know, to what's going on here in St. Louis right now. Um, so all those places I told you earlier, I might have told you, but anyway, Clayton, the Clayton area, if you're familiar with St. Louis, the Clayton area shut down. They were bo literally boarding up the businesses, the bars and things like that. Um, Plaza Frontenac closed at 6 tonight, which they normally would close at 8. Um, the Galleria closed at six, 6 tonight, which would normally close at 9. So businesses are like, you know, I mean, businesses in Ferguson have been shut down for days. There are at least three or four quick trips that are in the surrounding area of Ferguson that have all voluntarily shut down today. Um, and I don't imagine they're going to open up. I mean, I don't know when, essentially, but they're shut down. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a damn game out here. I'm just kind of giving you the temperament so you know how it is out here. Juicy J's on the ones and twos over here. Just, we're, we're like glued to our phones, glued to our iPads, and yeah, glued man. to the television. Yeah. About an hour away from, uh, hearing what's going to go down. But, He's all like, uh. Yeah, but St. Louis, man, everything shut down early today. It was traffic everywhere when I got off work mm -hmm. about 4.30. Uh, you know, all businesses were closing early. Schools closed. Uh, yeah, schools are closed. Everybody letting everybody off their, their jobs early. I mean, it, it was crazy. It was traffic everywhere. Yeah. So they, everybody's trying to get home and just sit down, I guess. Either go out there and protest or sit down and watch the news and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But either way, there's police everywhere. It's, uh, 
Missouri police officer Darren Wilson. This is what we're dealing with right now. Teenager Michael Brown. Happening right now, the National Guard is securing the area around the Yeah, let me show you some of this stuff. Formal announcement National Guard is here. Yeah, they've been here for, for days since last week. ...from the Ferguson Police Department, which of course would be relevant if he is not indicted. In the days following the shooting, protesters took... Oh, by the way, and I'll show you guys when... I, are you watching... You're going to watch this or are you going to watch five? I'm going back and forth. Yeah, watch five real quick because they're getting feeds off of... See, it pays when you've actually worked in the newsroom. Um... They're, CNN and all those places are getting feeds from our local news reporters. You know what I'm saying? So their stuff's a little delayed, typically. So anyway, um, yeah, Channel 5, ironically enough, has been doing crazy coverage. They've got reporters everywhere, and I mean all across the country, reporting on behalf of Channel 5 to, you know, giving us all the, you know, the, everything. Like, it's crazy. They actually did a really great job of covering the, um, the, uh, the Ferguson stuff. So... Anyway, um, <sighs> crazy. So yeah, I'm over here on this Dagon computer. I'm charging my phone to kind of, you know, get it all juiced, juiced up. And uh, yeah, <laughs> um, I was gonna make the Blue Apron meal tonight. Um, I had already thought out the pork and all that stuff or whatever, but I'm gonna make it tomorrow because honestly, like I can't, there's, I, there's this right here is the main focus. What time is it now, babe? Huh? What time is it, babe? 6.52. Oh, God. It's like, I swear I just looked at my watch and it was like 6. So this is the longest two hours ever. But we have a whole other hour and some odd minutes before. Oh, let me show you what's kind of going on. You don't want to put it on 5, babe? Because it's going to show. Hold on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Oh, sorry, babe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just so you guys can kind of see. And can we open? I don't know if you can see this, um, but uh, what we, our viewers are now seeing is uh, actually protesters with their arms linked blocking an intersection, sort of standing in a human chain, some of them with their arms linked, some of them just standing there, but blocking an intersection. Um, during the August protest, the whole world... When I tell... See, but, uh, you guys didn't see that, but like there was like a little... Um, the feed kind of broke up. It's because they're getting it from local news stations, but... Um, y'all, there's people everywhere, everywhere out there. So, like, and, and uh, this is so crazy. I'm scared. Okay. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see what happens. All right. So, you guys already know what the decision was by now, because obviously this is gonna come out a couple days after everything came out. Um. Y'all, only reason why I'm in the bedroom right now is because Juice is actually on the phone with his grandmother and they're going over scripture and they're just talking and that kind of thing and she's just kind of wanting to get an idea of how everything is out here. But y'all, this is one of the saddest things ever. And here's the thing, here's what's so crazy. I knew this was going to happen and so did most of St. Louis and this is me being all the way the fuck real. Here in St. Louis, that's been the temperament. We've known for a while that he was going to um, get off. We knew it. It was just a matter of when they were going to say that he was going to get off, that they weren't going to indict, you know. And um, that's the reason why their asses have been, you know, preparing and getting the pot out here. And, um, you know, they declared a state of emergency last week. You know, you don't do that shit if you know... Um, there's a probability of that type of news coming, okay? You're trying to be prepared because you know, okay? And um, it's sad. I have been... I knew that was going to be the case, but I'm still like, damn. You know, I wanted it to be different. And I was crying, you know what I mean? Because I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. Like, Juice has been pulled over, you know what I mean? For bullshit. I've been pulled over for bullshit. My brother's been pulled over. I mean, we've all there. We've all experienced some kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? Based on the color of our skin. And to think that this is the society that we have to raise our children in. And all of that, you know, it's sad. It's really sad. I mean, no justice whatsoever, zero, none, you know, none whatsoever, fucking ever, you know what I mean? And meanwhile, in between time, 
This motherfucker done got married and shit. And, you know, he's chilling. Granted, his life is going to be completely different, but that still doesn't... I mean, he's still here. He's still alive to tell the story. He's still alive to enjoy, you know, what's going on. So, anyway, um, I was just sitting down crying, man. That's, And it's hard for me to even... It's just... I keep looking away because I'm just, like, trying not to cry. Either way, y'all, for those of you guys, guys out here in St. Louis, be safe. Be careful. Um... I don't know what it's going to be like tonight. I have no idea. They already started, um, you know, reacting to everything. Um, they're setting police cars on fire and stuff out here. So will it be like this all night? I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I understand the anger, though. Being a black man now in this society is so rough. It's rough. And um, it's sad. But anyway, Juice is talking to his grandma right now. And uh, he's been on the phone with his uh, brothers too. And we've been texting everybody and their mama. And people have been texting us from everywhere, you know, checking in and seeing, you know, what is it like out here and stuff like that. It's just cop cars everywhere and all kinds of shit. It's just, this is just what it is. And this is just how it's going to probably be for a minute. I don't know how tonight is going to go. Pray for St. Louis. Pray that the justice system changes and that things change, generally speaking, in society because this is what we're dealing with now. This is the type of shit we have to deal with. This is it. You know what I mean? Um, pray for our black men out there. You know what I mean? It's not a game out here, son. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I have been literally crying and then Juice has been like holding my hand and I've been just laying on and I'm just like, and I just look at him like he's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, you know, be safe out there. Those of you guys that are here and those of you guys that are, um, because I know there's other places that are protesting right now. Um, I think Philly is another place where they are heavily protesting. So, um, you know, be careful out there guys, seriously. And hug on your loved ones and, um, I guess I'll see y'all manana.